Okay, folks, I uh, wanted to share something interesting with you. I found a way to get 7mm motors to fit into the Nano QX frame. Um, today, what I did was I took an old JJRC quad captor, uh, which housed 7mm motors, and uh, placed it, placed the board and the motors all into the uh, Nano QX frame. Um, it's a great mod. I do recommend if you have a JJRC or an X-Dart. These things are uh, uh, pretty common out there in the RC world for dirt cheap. I think I paid less than $30 for a ready-to-fly package for this entire thing. Flies great and has great flight times. So what I did was I uh, decided I needed to get these 7mm motors into the frame. Let's take a look. These are 7mm motors. And all I did, it's a quite simple mod. First thing you need, a sharp pair of shears. So as you can see, the break right there is where I cut the piece of plastic. Quite simple. I'm going to get really close. Hopefully, hopefully this focus, focuses correctly. But in the arm here, on the prop protector or prop shield side, I just cut one side right off just to have a little gap there so that things can move around. So, as you can see, the gap's here. I did that on all four arms. Cut this side over here, cut this side over here, and cut this one over there. Then, you just take the wires, feed it through the little gap that you made, the hole, and then push the motor right down into it. So the motor will sit in there. This way, the motor sits against the back of the frame arm here. We want as much surface area, so we cut on the farthest side as we could so that it can sit against the original arm on the frame here. Push it down as far as it can go. Of course, there will be a small gap here. Small gap, but that's okay. Now, to lock it into place, I mean, it, it's actually in there pretty good. But to lock it in place, what I'm using, I took a piece of surgical hose and I cut it. I use these and have been doing this for uh, rubber bands. I cut these for prop savers. Uh, works wonderful as well. It's a great, great little tip if you use prop saver rubber bands. These work wonders. So, just cut a nice little piece off of the surgical hose about that big. Nothing too fancy. You take that and then you just put it around the motor. Stick that in there just like that around the motor that causes friction against the motor on each side and it'll hold it into place for you push it back down in as far as you can and that'll hold it put the prop back on it then and there you go you have a quad frame nano qx holding seven millimeter motors. This flew wonderfully. And I say flew because I did ruin this motor right here, yanked on a wire and pulled it out. Looks like I just did the same while showing you guys how to do that. Look at that, I did. They are delicate motors on here. I'm gonna be ordering another one. These are cheap. I can get a replacement JJRC uh, bind and fly for uh, $16 from banggood.com. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just replace it again, throw it all on here. I think it'll be a uh, fun flyer. When I originally had this flying, it was steady, handled well. I'd put my uh, controls to 40% and fly it around the house. It was a lot of fun until I uh, tore out that motor. These wires are pretty stretched on this exact setup. But the whole point being, 7mm motors on the frame. So if you bought some 7mm motors and you don't want to spend money on a uh, carbon fiber frame, it's still possible to use the actual frame that came with the quadcopter, the Nano QX. All right, guys, just a quick tip on the mod. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. You guys have a great night.